Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. I was not planning on making a video about these two systems, I really wasn't. There's enough people making videos about them, um, talking about the specs, talking about why they want to buy one, why they don't want to buy them, everything else. Um, but it's what's happened in between that has made me want to make this video. Because I'm actually disgusted, I really am. Right, before we get on to that, um, what we're talking about is the uh, Amico and the new Amiga 500 Mini that's coming out. And as far as the systems go, when I first saw the Amico, I thought that's a really nice design. I just a while back, I thought an interesting thing. I may get one, but as time's gone on, it's just not something that would fit in my collection. My personal opinion, that's, that's fine. Um, if you want to go out and buy one, go and buy one. If you don't want to buy one, don't buy one. It's as simple as that. You'd think it'd be as simple as that, wouldn't you? And the other one is the Amiga. Since that announcement's come out, that I have seen so much back and forward from the retro community slagging each other off over why you should get one, why you shouldn't get one, why this, why that, you know what I mean? And it's back and forward, and it's constant. And it's not just, oh, just, oh, I'm going to get one because of this, or you shouldn't get one because of this, or a Raspberry Pi, or whatever. It's nasty and it's personal and it's attacking and it's toxic in the retro community. It really is. And it's not the first time this has happened because I've been in uh, quite a lot of, say, Facebook groups uh, and other, uh, just like for the Spectrum, for the Commodore, for the Amiga, for the, you know, C64, all stuff like that. And they're all very, very tight knit groups. And if anyone comes in and challenges that, like one of these groups, they can get really defensive and you get the ones who go off on their own and get really nasty and personal attacking and all the rest of it. And that is what has happened with these two minis is some of the comments and posts I have been reading about the new Amiga mini are just horrible. If somebody wants to go and buy one, what is wrong with that and buy one? And on the flip side, if somebody doesn't want to buy one, that's also okay. And when I'm talking about the attacks, I'm not just talking about people who have got Amigas like this and are attacking everyone who wants to go and get a, a you know, get a Mini. It's the other way around. It's the attack from the people who want to get the Mini, go, you know, going the other way. And it's just, it drives people apart. Shouldn't it be that if there is a device which is, it's, it's like, let's say this mini is a little bit more expensive than most, but you can see it comes with more. But if there's a device that someone who can just pick up and play, who hasn't seen the Amiga for years, um, the actual Amiga hardware itself is not cheap. It really isn't. I mean, anyone who collects Amiga now know that, um, say like you ain't getting much change from 250 quid plus for an Amiga 1200. And that's probably just a basic one. Then you've got all the accelerates, WDs load, all the everything else you can put into it. So, what what is wrong with someone who just wants to pick one off the shelf, put some games on it, um, load them up, play, play on a TV, stretched if you know what I mean, because it, they'll go around the wide screen, but they're enjoying it. There is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The same with the uh, Amico. If somebody wants to go and buy one because they think it's going to be great for... Um, just family time, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. Just stop personally. I mean, the Amico videos, I think that is just... The Amiga one has pushed me over the edge to make this video. But the, the Amico one, is that is toxic. It really is. I have seen people put videos out just putting their personal opinion across to say, this is why I like this system, I'm looking forward to it. And then you see comment after comment after comment with people using fake accounts and everything else to just personally attack them. Um, and again, people who don't like the Amico are doing videos that people who do like it are going on and leaving comments that way. It is completely divided opinion. But that's the thing, it's opinion. Leave it there. Don't buy one or buy one. Stop fighting in the retro community. It's, you know, I've definitely made this video, but it's going to just, um, it's going to continue. It will... If it's not these systems, it's going to be another one. But I'm just absolutely sick to death of it. I really am. My thoughts on the uh, new Amiga? I will probably get one. Not going to get one day one. Um, if, I, if 
they start selling them around about the 80 quid mark, I'll definitely grab one because I can see these great for picking up, taking around my mate's house for a game night. Him messing about with putting some extra games on it. That normally takes a few hours because we normally fuck it up, don't we, John? Normally the pads we mess up. <laughs> Something about setting up those pads is maybe because we've all had a few to drink. Um, but yeah, taking it round, plug it in, playing the games. I'm, I'm looking forward to the mouse and the, the new pad. I know people are saying that why has it got a pad with it? But I think with that, it's like it's going to be able to use the um, Competition Pro one. I can see that just plugging straight into the side of it and being perfectly fine. So why make another one just in a different colour? Will the, the full-size one come out with the keyboard? Probably. More than likely. I was surprised that they brought out the one with the full-size one for the Commodore 64. Um, but yeah, that's what it's for. It's for people who just want to pick up and play. To be honest, I like the box art as well. I mean... I've got a couple of box Amigas up there and some of my favourite things of, of the Amiga is the box art, it's, it's that memory that sticks in your head. Um, sitting there and be able to play it with your kids as well, it's just, just going to be nice and not having to worry it's going to break. I, every single time I turn this on I think, is this going to be the last time? And if you're a proper Amiga owner, uh, the real hardware, you know exactly what I'm talking about. At any point this thing can just go, yeah, I'm done. You know, so, and it never leaves here never leaves here so if anyone wants to play this they've got to come to this so to be able to pick it up take it to a mate's house have a couple of play games on it play some worms play some whatever um will be great but the attacks from both sides is just ripping the retro community apart it's nice to have a debate but it's not nice to take it as personal attacks and just go after anyone with an opinion that isn't the same as yours and i said it before and i'll say it again opinions are like arseholes everyone's got one and no one thinks their stinks again that's from john um I credit him every time i say that in one of my videos but yeah that's just my thoughts on the matter stop the personal attacks buy it don't buy it walk past it you know what i mean really enjoy it the, um, the one that divides people as well, uh, and is actually doing really quite well now, community-wise, is the um, the Evercade. And I'm still debating whether I should get one of them. I should get yes or no. I mean, the amount of handhelds that I got, I should really get one. Um, just because it's something different. I really enjoy the cartridges of that. Just, just the whole idea that there's multiple games on a cartridge and you can just plug it in, play it, go, whatever. Yes, so you can play things in other ways. Yes, you can play Raspberry Pis. But, you know, we're collectors... We're going to collect, and if it lets other people access it easier, nothing wrong with that. Let's get more people into the retro community, let's get more people playing games, and let's get more people just enjoying the nostalgia without the price tag or the uh, failures. I tell you what, the Amiga, the only one um, I've sold pretty much every game for, physical game, because the amount that I was getting that weren't working, I just gave up. WHC load all the way. Anyway, that's enough for the waffle. That's my thoughts on everything. And just be nice to each other. Be kind. Respect each other. I know you won't and I know you won't listen to this video, but I needed to say it anyway. Right, guys, I will catch you all again next time. And thanks for listening. Bye.